welcome back. Uh, today's video is going to be about toothbrushing. So to pretty much everybody, brushing your teeth is normal. It's something you do every day and it's a good habit to have. And it just, for a lot of people, it's just something you do regularly and everything else. However, for someone like me, especially me, teeth brushing is kind of not really there in the brain. It's one of those things that I kind of need to train myself to do. And over the years, I've, of course, tried to brush my teeth regularly. I still fail, but I have, over the years, figured out different reasons why um, brushing teeth is difficult for me. Um, one is just like your toothbrush and then the toothpaste itself and a bunch of other things. Go through all of them. Um, and more recent... I actually have a calendar. Uh, I'll put it up here. Um, my calendar has if I've brushed in the morning or at night. I also added if I moisturize, wash my face, wash my retainer, kind of little reminders in the bathroom of what to do. It's just a thing. I think I got from the dollar store. No, I think I actually got it from Walmart. Um, but it's like a dry erase board that I just... I change the month, put the days, mark when I brush my teeth. When I first got started, I did really well. I had like, I think two weeks um, of brushing my teeth morning and night. As you, count, as you can tell from July, I brushed my teeth one day last week. Still working on it. But here are some, uh, some things that have helped me. The first one is toothbrush. I figured this one out first, whereas my mouth is small. Like, I can't open my mouth very wide. I actually have had to start eating uh, open face sandwiches, which I learned was a thing. Um, because my mouth is so small that I can't like soup, eat like a super burger or anything. Um, but toothbrush, I have on my trusty table here, my toothbrush. I have to actually change this out for the last one that I have. Uh, so adult toothbrushes have bigger heads and I can't get all the way into the back of my face. So I use a infant uh, toothbrush. So I think this is actually, I think this was marked as like little kid-ish slash infant whatever toothbrush. It's like one of the smallest ones you can get. And the head is really small. Super small. And... It came in a pack of four, but it's small enough to fit into my face, to get all the way into the back, and it just, it works so well. So after I found that adult toothbrushes don't work, I started getting better at brushing my teeth. The second thing that made it hard for me to brush my teeth was toothpaste. I didn't realize it until I really kind of dug deeper into it was Adult toothpaste hurts my mouth. Even adult mouthwash hurts my mouth. Um, the mouthwash is because of the alcohol in it, and the toothpaste is just, the mint is too strong. Like, I, like, I like mint candies, but the mint for toothpaste is really strong. So what I do, and it's been working pretty well, is I get this Pro Enamel for children because the mint in this one isn't as strong so it doesn't hurt my mouth. So I use this in the morning because I have sensitive teeth as well but this helps because it's sensitive. Uh, it helps with being able to eat like hot cold things whatever. Um, and it works, well, I should say it worked for a while of brushing every day, but then I kind of fell out of it again because my aspirin was just like, oh, no, this isn't important. And then I figured to try and get myself to brush morning and night, I'm going to get a toothpaste that I've been wanting for years. 
I think I used it when I was a kid, but I've always wanted to use it again. And that is Kids Crest. This stuff, <laughs> it's sparkly. It kind of tastes like bubblegum-ish, but it's sparkly and it's like blue and it's so cool. So I was like, hey, I'm using Kids Toothpaste. I, it's, it's toothpaste, it doesn't really matter. So I use Honamel in the morning. That's also the French side, but hey. <laughs> Pronamel in the morning, then Kids Crest at night. And then these two help me brush my teeth better. The third item on this brushing teeth list is mouthwash. As I said before, adult, I, I call it adult stuff because, well, I get the children's thing. But adult mouthwash has alcohol in it. I know there's some... I guess alcohol free adult mouthwashes, but even those have a stronger mint taste to them and they it, they bother my mouth. So I've been using, again, children's mouthwash. This one, it, it's Listerine, I always get Listerine. It is, that's a princess one, but it is a berry flavor. I had another one that was like bubblegum. Uh, that one's like way out of date and I don't want to use it anymore, like two, two years out of date. This one's only a year out of date, still works. But I use this sometimes before I brush and or the dates that I forget to brush, I'll use this better than nothing. Um, I should probably add this to my calendar too. Uh, did you use mouthwash and add like a star or something? Um, but this stuff is actually pretty cool because it kind of highlights things that you brushed out of your face and when you spit it out into the sink you can actually see it. So that as well helps my brain go, oh, I did a good job. Yeah, I did a good job. So this is very helpful. Um, the only thing that I would like to get better at is flossing. Now flossing is difficult. I do have like, I couldn't find it. Um, I think it's, it, might, it might be buried in my, uh, my cupboard in there. But it's like a, a reach thing for flossing because using like regular floss and trying to shove your fingers in your face because my mouth is so small I can't, I can't do it. So flossing is one thing that I need to do. But all in all, like with, with brushing, if I can see, like right now anyway, because I'm still trying to get myself to do it every day. If I see one, one time a week that I do morning and night, or even if it's just at night, or I do like three mornings in a row or something, I, I congratulate myself because it's, it's hard. Like you wouldn't think brushing your teeth is, is hard to do, but for me, it's probably one of the more difficult things to do. Like, hygiene in general, I've always had issues with. Uh, brushing teeth would be the worst one. I'm good at, at washing my hair and showering and stuff. When I was a kid, I was really bad at it, but I got better. But brushing my teeth has always been kind of a... I don't... I don't really know what to do about it. But I have come across uh, some other people with Asperger's who have also trouble brushing teeth, which is why I wanted to make a video on it because if using children's toothpaste and um, toothbrushes, even like the ones with like the fun designs and stuff, if it helps me, I figured it would, uh, it would help someone else as well. But uh, that, that is all for the video. Uh, if you like, please give my video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Uh, put the, ring the bell if you want to get notifications on when I put videos up. I'm trying every Monday and Thursday. Sometimes it's like Tuesdays, Fridays, other such days. Uh, Mondays are going to be vlogger style videos and probably videos on 
on the cat, on Agua. Um, Thursdays, more kind of educational video things to kind of get, get used to a, a schedule, which <laughs> another aspy thing for me is I'm bad at schedules. <laughs> but that is all for now. Uh, I hope you guys have a good day uh, and a good weekend coming up. Uh, I have allergy testing on Saturday, so I'll be making a video on how that went. So I'll see you later.